Okay, so here's a demo of the image generator online drawing. So we'll start off, I'll do a map of or an outline of New South Wales. So it's going to be a will be a polygon. I'll we'll use. Um, this W will do, but right. So you've got to make sure your the active button's been clicked on for what you want to work on. So just sort of start at the top here and just click your way around. I won't bother about ACT. Make that part of New South Wales, but and uh, pick the map of Australia because I knew there was going to sort of be a something with reasonable sort of map borders to do. So it's sort of got that one. So we'll add a new one now to. Um, make that a circle for call it a circle. So just sort of click on the center and then around the outside somewhere and sort of move it around a wee bit to fit the circle better. You can then increase this size if you like. So, or decrease it, whatever way you want to go, or just leave it as it is. But so, we'll go for the uh, Pentagon this time. And that is a polygon, straightforward one. Oops, sorry. And I made a mistake there, not making it active. So there was active now. Click on there. And actually, I'll so. They're a little bit out, so I'll just move this down and sort of move it around a bit. There, you can also click on the area that's been clicked on and move it around like that, as well as the points. So, we'll do one more. It's just for the rectangle, call it a square, and click on, I'm not sure, yeah, but you can also, I'll redo that one because edit again. Get the rectangle, name it. I found easy was to click on the top left, on the bottom left, and then just draw across like so. Now, one disadvantage, well, it's not really a disadvantage, but you've to be a, 
that caught me out at first is when you go into here, it comes up with this no, you know, the circle with the bar through it. Um, instead of a regular mouse pointer or finger or something. So I thought I wasn't going to be able to copy it, but nice and easy to copy. So that's it.